When I was eight years old and I first put my leg over a motorcycle, my goal was to turn professional. I become a factory racer. I medal in X Games. Our series is on TV. It's looking like there's a light at the end of the tunnel to really make a career out of this and a living. Then when they took out Women Super X and X Games, there's kind of like, okay, makes it really difficult to be a professional athlete in a sport that there's so many um, circumstances of being able to get hurt and even die. I've had three shoulder reconstructions, like how many more can I take? My parents sat me down and they're like, you're not making money doing this, like we need to figure this out. I didn't know who I was as a person. I didn't know what I was gonna do in my life. I, I got up and I made the right moves and I'm so grateful I did because a lot of people don't get out of that hole. And I started a business in the process of it. Starting the business and actually getting on my two feet, I was like, okay, like I, I want to go racing again, you know? Like I, I craved and I fiend for that adrenaline. I'm like addicted to it. So then I, I bought my first Polaris Razor and I started racing. I've done so many disciplines in the UTVs from traveling to Africa, racing one of the toughest all-female sporting events, to short course, to rock crawling, to you name it, we probably did in a UTV. I had worked a lot and saved up a little bit of money and I decided to put pretty much every penny I had in my savings towards racing the SST truck. I ended up going out there, honestly doing really good in the SSTs. And then I got a phone call from Clyde Stacy. He had watched me racing the stadium super trucks and he's like, I would love to see you in one of our trucks. So my first race was Laughlin Desert Classic. We did a really good job and then Clyde's like, hey, we're gonna make our little truck, the 6100, uh, your designated truck. I had my first year last year racing it, and me and Erica, we put in a lot of work, and we proved that we are here to compete. Having BF Goodrich tires on your vehicle is such an advantage. You do not want to be on the side of the track changing a tire, because you will not win. That is something that I've chosen to align myself with a company like BF Goodrich because of that. They have the best product out there, and nothing lines up next to it. Everything I do, I put a million percent into, and that's exactly what we've done with the truck. Honestly, I felt like me and Erica, we were on point as driving, putting in the time, doing everything we possibly needed to do to be competitive and to be in the top spot. I just, I want that win so bad because we, we've been so close, but we just haven't had it, and I know it's only been a year and a half on the truck, but this is our year, I think. This is my first ever Mint 400, and I didn't think I'd ever race the Mint 400. It's awesome. Like, they take over Vegas, and it's like, for once, off-road is the forefront. So being a part of BF Goodrich is an incredible thing to be a part of their team, because not only do you have the most greatest racers of all time, like Rob Mack or Abdali Lopez, you know, my whole team, RPM, we're part of BFG. When you go down to any race, if it's Baja or if it's at the Mint, you have the most support. I sacrifice a lot in my life for racing. There's a lot of times where I'm kind of like, damn, like how am I gonna do this? But it's a hard road being an athlete in a sport that you don't have funds to do. So it's awesome to see like companies actually come on board and help me pursue my dream and my passion to uh, continue to do this. I want to go out there and compete. I'm a racer. I'm not just a female. I, I'm not just a pretty face. I'm out there to do well. When you put on that helmet, you're a racer and be a racer. <laughs>